Flounder here from Scrubs in the Morning, hanging out with, uh, I guess you could say, Michigan, West Michigan's American Idol. Welcome back, man. Gerard, how's it going, man? Uh, man, it feels great to be home. Thanks for having me on the show. So I want to get into uh, one thing first before we get into touring. I hear that you are huge and you're really into mentoring. You actually mentor a kid right now. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, I've been mentoring um, with Big Brother, Big Sister for about, man, well, about four years now. I've been doing this. I'm on my second match. Uh, his name is Trey. Uh, before that, I was with a young guy. He was 10. This one, I think, is 16. Uh, so, I mean, we, it's, it's a good time. You know, it's such a cool way to impact a young man's life. And I had a mentor when I was a kid. I'm still friends with him. And, uh, you know, they kind of watched me grow. And, uh, you know, I've, I've just, I think it's really important for young kids, especially if they don't, you know, have, like, um, like a strong family or something like that. So We, we saw you on TV. What's life uh, been like on the road, though? What are you guys doing on your downtime besides talking to us and all that? Like, what are you guys doing for fun? Like, I was talking to Anoop earlier. You're saying you guys, like, have, have a hard time even going to see a movie or grab a drink. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Um, if you go on a group, you know, we, we get we get attacked. <laughs> but, but you know, one on one, like by yourself, you can go out and do anything you want. I think usually I can. But um, I I love to like on my days off, just be completely anonymous. I don't know, like I, I don't I, mean, I don't mean to blow the guys off, but there I just put a hat on and sunglasses and I like disappear, like in Boston, Philadelphia. I like the best time. I'm such a history buff, so I'll just wander around the city by myself. And no one knew like who I was, and I was just like, like, oh wow, that's the Capitol building. I'm just like, nah, you know, just total like geeky tourist. Like, I just love that stuff, you know. And then like the next day, I jump back on stage in front of 15,000 people and crazy people. <laughs> uh, speaking of hats, how many hats do you own? Probably like 30, five. I mean, you should have. A, do you have? A, you should start a hat line like Goo Doo Clothing. Danny should do glasses. I mean, you guys are just all over top of it. What's it like? You're saying. Speaking of tour, remember when you came back for uh, when they when you're done with Idol, you came back. We had that big welcoming for you out in Kalamazoo. That was huge. Like five thousand people at least out there. Six out. Uh, let's go with ten. Ten thousand people. Twenty-five thousand. It was near riot. What's it like now, though? Tonight you're gonna be stepping on stage at the Van Andel Arena, like pretty much your hometown, your backyard. It's it's gonna be wild, man. I, I'm gonna have to throw a hat out tonight or something. I'm about to throw two hats out. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it's wild, man. I've been looking forward to this show since, like, the beginning of the whole tour. You know what I mean? Um, like, it's just so cool to come back and play. I've, I played across the street, you know, McFadden's and the Bob, and I would just be over there, like, on my little keyboard, and, like, never thought I'd ever play here. So I feel blessed, and um, it's so cool to, like, see all the, like, my family and friends and, like, the fans outside have been so great. And they're all like, welcome home, man. You know, it's, it's, it's a good time, man. We've seen a, a lot of people you've been on uh, TV with that you got to uh, learn from and uh, get you know advice from, uh, whether TV or uh, behind the scenes. Who has inspired you the most, or what have you got to learn the most as like a musician? Who's inspired me the most from behind the scenes? Man, think about that for a second. Or like you like you're just your greatest, yeah. I think like this. That's a, that's a lot. Um, well, give me maybe a few of them that you're that you're most memorable. You're like, wow, I can't believe I'm sitting here right now learning. You know. Well, there's been a couple times like with the with the mentors. I mean, obviously you'd never forget that stuff because we all get to do that. But you know, Randy Travis, one time told me he was like, I don't think you will, but you could sing country. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, yeah, Jamie Foxx and uh, Smokey Robinson, like it's just like I'll never forget working with them people. But you know, to be honest with you, Paula was one of my my uh, my biggest inspirations on the tour. She's like one of the sweetest ladies you ever meet came to our two rehearsals, keeps in touch with us, took us all out to dinner, and, like, she really genuinely cares about, you know, us um, as artists. So I love, I love it to death. That's awesome. We're talking once again to uh, Matt Rod here for the uh, Backstage American Idols Live 2009. What uh, Last question for you. What are your future plans as the tour winds down? What are you planning on doing? What's your uh, future hold? Are you going to pursue some more music, or what are you doing? Yeah, I might, you know, I might, I might do music, you know. <laughs> I'm actually um, I'm the host of a new show called Make the Cut, on a, a website called yobi.tv. Um, so it's like an online singing competition, which is the first of its kind. I'm doing that, booking shows, you know, doing like the national anthem at Detroit Tigers games and like all the kinds of fun stuff that, and some fundraisers that I'm helping out with. Like a lot of cool opportunities that you can kind of use your little bit of fame to like do some good, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna be involved with a lot of um, positive fundraisers and stuff like that, so. And actually, Lad, I got one more question. Speaking of performing, you're going to be, uh, is it in 2010, you're going to be in West Michigan? Like, when, when are people going to be able to see you when the tour is over performing? I'm actually going to be doing a couple things, like Soap Stars Live, um, I think, is in October, which is uh, in Detroit. Um, I'm also doing um, a couple, I might be doing a couple ones in November uh, in Grand Rapids. And I'm also doing a, as of now, I'm doing my first big show on July, uh, January 29th at Forest Hills Northern um, Fine Arts Center here in Grand Rapids. So that's going to be huge, man. It's, it's just headlining, just me. Maybe I'll bring one of the other guys out, Noop or something out, featuring Adam Lambert. <laughs> well, it's awesome, Matt. Thank you so much for taking the time out to come here and uh, be on the Scrubs in the Morning show, and uh, good luck tonight. We're so proud of you, man. Thanks, man. It means a lot. Thank you so much, man.